morning, Aries. So, I'm doing your October 2018 reading. Um, and just to let you know, I've fixed, I've reformatted the way I do things. Uh, I'm gonna be reading in four parts. One is a general read for you and then the second part of it is where I pull out um, advice from the romance angels and the third part is where I see what's going on in a situation with between you and another zodiac sign and the fourth one is where you ask a question now and save it for later because I already have pulled out an answer for you from the Angel Answers Oracle deck. So, okay, what I'm seeing here, Aries, is that there is this lack between you and another person. Like, if you're trying to, you know, mix something, uh move forward it can't because one of you is feeling under motivated um you're lacking the direction maybe um in a way it kind of seems like it's you doing this um you don't feel the same passion as you once did for this person maybe because they're getting clingy and also it i don't know but it seems like you're making work an excuse to avoid them maybe you're pulling the embassy card or it's either you or them okay um and for you guys to fix the situation there needs to be um, a communication where you are informed or they're informed about how the other one feels but even if this person does say how they feel about you it's or you feel about them it's like the other person here is quite allergic to emotions um yeah and they're seemingly cold that's why the other person is holding back. Um, and then, on the other hand, the other person, while they see that this is actually, they see, they feel it, that, you know, it's lacking the whole drive, the emotions. Um, it's like everything's not really moving forward. There's, um, it's like this whole thing seems so unreliable already. Um, even if they see that, they feel it, they're still happy being with you. So, um, and the sad thing here is that even if, yeah, they, they're happy they're with you, even if they already feel undervalued and they also know they're being taken for granted uh, or you could also be feeling this way whoever is doing the part where they're taking for granted this other person it's really because they're being cynical about love maybe because they haven't they've had these experiences in the past that tell them this could be too good to be true and you know once all these things are cleared out um maybe communication needs to happen like an open communication of how the other one feels and maybe what needs to be done for you guys to move forward if you still want to move forward um yeah Just, you need to communicate openly if you still wanted to move forward 
kind of got lost there, but um, yeah, this is just of it. Um, and then the advice for you here is that okay, if yeah, just like I was saying, if you're feeling, if you're the one who's feeling like unsure that this connection could be too good to be true because of the past and all that um it's saying it is safe for you to love open your heart to give and receive the highest energy of all and keep an open mind maybe this person that's why it's lacking all this um passion or direction maybe they're actually not your type so they're saying keep an open mind your soulmate may differ from your usual type and expectations so and also there's this thing where you know there are children involved maybe and it is being affected by children or it could also mean that the other one the one of you is younger than the other and isn't exactly as mature as the other person and that is being that is the issue here so maybe the other one is still playing around not really you know taking things seriously while the other is okay and then the third part um, for aries dealing with an aquarian um, if you guys are having these little um, disagreements and, you know, arguments, when you do this, make sure you both are approaching a situation um, where you are not focusing on being right, but it's more like coming to an agreement to compromise, give and take, uh, yeah, because, you know, fixing things is better than coming out to be better than the other, right? It is a partnership, if ever, so that's how, you know, it should work. Um, for Aries dealing with Pisces, got the lover's card. Um, so yeah, it could be a, you know, a connection, a soulmate connection, um, but it could also signify a choice between a lover and either family, work, or another person. Um, and maybe in order for things to move forward, there needs to be a new course of action taken something that has not been tried and tested it's calling for for a totally different approach so good luck with that um for aries dealing with another aries um it is advised for you to exude a positive and cheerful attitude towards each other um, and you know it's the justice card basically whatever energy you put out there this is the kind of energy you will get back towards you so you have to think if you know what what kind of energy is it that I want to receive am I putting the same energy out there just like any relationship you can take you give this you get this back usually <laughs> um, so Aries Taurus for Aries dealing with Tauruses um, you may de be dealing with someone who enjoys romance at their own terms um and you know they they like the they like 
to be you know in a partnership and all that but they don't want to be rushed um and they don't really care about what impression they make to the other person um at the same time this can be a cause for conflict between you two like the i don't care what you think the, the whole attitude it can easily cause conflict so if when it does um be sure to communicate your thoughts in a calm manner you know always if, you know like i always say if there's conflict disagreements with another person especially someone you're interested in um always do it in a way that helps the situation not something that'll make it worse you know putting anyone down just keep uplifting each other basically so Taurus, gemini's so aries dealing with gemini's it's you get a four of wands it's usually a sign of getting good news either you or they are getting some good news um and it's about just enjoying your quality time together and appreciating what you both have to offer for you guys to move forward and you know how someone's feeling undervalued, unappreciated, appreciate each other. So for Aries dealing with cancer, um, yeah, it's it's pretty much like how um, at the general general reading where there's this lack of direction, you're not motivated to you know pursue the relationship any further. Um, it's saying, yeah, there there seems to be some interest, but it's bound to fade because this connection lacks the stability it needs to move forward. For Aries dealing with Leos, there is the Hermit card. Um, someone's feeling lonely. They're looking inside themselves. Um, probably thinking what they're doing wrong what they could do better um basically it's for the betterment of the person it could be you or them doing this so yeah it's it's really a card of transformation where you know it's either one comes out of it thinking okay let's do this or okay that's it tap out done I get how it is. So, and then Leo Virgo. For Aries is dealing with Virgos, um, as I mentioned earlier, someone might be a bit too immature to sustain the relationship. Um, could be someone is younger. Um, yeah, but. Even if this is the case, it still can be fixed if, you know, you are brave about the connection, just trusting that, you know, of course, you know, everything takes a lot of work. If you want to pursue this relationship or this partnership, then um, be brave and try to fix, try to meet each other halfway um yeah and again it's also saying that you know this person isn't your usual type so yeah just the same way the advice from the romance angels came out right um anyways for virgo libra for aries dealing with libra Okay, sorry about that, Aries. The dogs outside are going crazy and someone was just talking so loud. Anyway. 
Um, for Aries dealing with Libras, there is a suggestion here to move slow um, and trust your intuition, your feelings about this partnership, especially if Sorry. Especially if something doesn't seem right anymore. Um, whether it's you or the other person who is being put in a situation where, you know, it's like, I'm feeling undervalued. I don't really feel like this is right for me anymore. You know, losing the passion for this to move forward. Um, be honest with yourself and move forward, but again, it says move slowly. Um, I think this is because this is in reference to one of you being actually happy to be with the other person. So, you know, if you're gonna break someone's heart, do it slowly. Um, so that was for Libra, Virgo, Virgo, Libra, Scorpio. For Aries dealing with Scorpio, you have the Three of Wands. Um, this is about meeting someone or, you know, whatever it is you've been waiting for, it's coming in. But still, you need to communicate. Communication is golden in this partnership with you and this Scorpio. Scorpio, right. And for Sagittarius, dealing with an Aries, um, you got the Queen of Swords where even though this person you're dealing with is someone who's smart, very intellectually capable of, you know, making things happen. Um, they've got the emotion of a rock, as I'd say, um, because <clears throat> they're the type who, when they get, it's either they block off emotions or they just wanna, once they're hurt, they just wanna cut things out. Done. Bye. It's like that. Um, for Aries dealing with Capricorns, you've got the Page of Wands. Um, this is like the energy where everything's so fiery and passionate from the start, but just how quickly it comes in, it also fades as fast. They seem to get bored easily and they're not really the settling type. So it's either you or them. And then, so if you prepared your question for this read, um, the answer here is a big fat no. Big fat no. <clears throat> I don't know what you asked, but... It's like, big fat no, hell no, no way, forget about it. No. Okay. So, thank you for taking the time to go over this video. Um, if it resonates, let me know, because that would help. And if you like this format, let me know. If you haven't subscribed yet, please do. And as soon as I'm done with all these readings, I'm gonna... Sorry, someone keeps talking out there. Um, yeah, I'm gonna get back to you with the weekly reads, okay? Bye!